There we go. We're live. And just at that point, my dog decided to go for a little walk. And so if you hear that ticket, ticket, tick, that's what that is. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And uh, yeah, for those of you who are watching this on playback, welcome, welcome. And for those of you who are still joining us, I'm going to quickly switch over on Facebook and see if I can find us. Um, so just hang on tight for me. And yeah, I'm very excited about uh, this chat that we're going to have today. It's so appropriate and so in line with um, everything that we stand for at JIF. So very, very excited about this. Let me just make sure that I'm not making a ton of noise here. Um, so yeah, I'm tempted to do it in Afrikaans, Yelle. Um, for, for those of you who, uh, who don't know, even this American accent actually is Afrikaans. And um, I've been chatting with these two in Afrikaans over the last couple of days. So I'm, I'm really tempted to just switch over to Afrikaans. <laughs> but because we want to make sure everybody can follow along and everyone can, um, yeah, can be part of what we're doing today. Um, guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And um, I'm going to introduce you guys in a, in a second. I just want to quickly make sure that we are live and ready to go. I don't see us yet. Just one sec. Let me try again. And double check here on this side as well. Got too many windows open. <laughs> um, I can't see us just yet. Let me just make sure we are there. Okay, let me just double check here. All right, we're up and going. Hey guys, hi Iva. Thank you for joining us, Granny. And uh, we've got Antoinette with us as well. Swipe in, guys, and say hi if you're joining us. Um, we are chatting to the crew at Brainability today, and I'm very excited to introduce them to you and to have them share what they do with us today. So swipe in. Hi, Kath. Hi, Karen. Nice to see you guys. Swipe in and say hi. So um, just for you, Deliana and Leon, if you um, don't know what the swipe in is, it's like when you swipe in at the gym. So we ask people to swipe in and check in and let us, let us know that they're here. So come and say hi, everybody. And um, yeah, let's kick off our chat today. So um, if you're joining us, we are chatting about brain fitness. And we'll go a little bit more into what that is and what that means. And um, like I said in the beginning, such an appropriate a topic for not only this platform where we're all about holistic and whole fitness um, but also very um, very important to this time of year when we're feeling fatigued mentally as well um, and you know how it affects our ability and um, yeah just everything that we do so I'm excited to chat to you guys so before I do I just wanted to introduce you guys quickly so if you just bear with me while I pull up my notes um, so Deliana, what did you say your title was? I'm trying to remember. Was chief in charge. <laughs> I think I think we need to ask Leon that one. I think he's a bit scared of me. So he thought up that title. We need to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I mean, um, but I think that Leon, you called yourself the, the chief thinker over yeah, it. That is, that is my job. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so great. Okay, so. Just a little intro for those of you guys who are joining us. So Deliana is the managing director and co-founder at Brainability, and she devotes her time to helping others. Deliana is highly experienced in master brain skills, as a master brain skills coach specifically, um, and trained in uh, Colorado Springs in the USA. So Deliana has been published in numerous magazines, has become known um, as a radio personality, and is the host of a local and international webinar series. Um, all of this with a focus on challenging her audiences to leverage their focus and pay attention to what matters most at school, work, and in life, and that is brain fitness. Delena molds the latest international research and best practices and translates this into practical strategies, which can be applied with ease. And she believes in the importance of brain fitness. She believes that our lives will change for the better once we start investing as much commitment in our brain health um, as in our comfort zone. So, um, yeah, Delena, so lovely to have you joining us today. And then I just wanted to quickly um, introduce uh, Leon as well. So just one second, my note is 
I'm having a difficulty opening here. There we go. Um, so Leanne is also highly experienced in human, human capital consulting professional with more than 30 years experience in this field. He's known for his professional and pragmatic approach where he takes the latest best practice and translates this into practical workable solutions. So over the past five years, Leon has delved into the world of applied neurocognitive science in the workplace and the impact of this on behavioral economics relevant to every organization, large or small. Uh, Leon's consulting journey has um, always been about answering the why and applied neurocognitive science in the workplace has become just that. Leon believes in the future, um, sorry, in the future value of what for IR supports. Is this I Fourth AI? Industrial Revolution. Thank you. There we go. The Fourth Industrial Revolution. I should have known that, guys. <laughs> He's a dad, consultant, product architect, master brain skills coach, and business school lecturer, human capital professional, and an entrepreneur. So, guys, Thank you so much for joining us with your expertise, with everything that you offer. I'm so excited to chat with you guys today. So should we just delve straight into it? And then you guys can tell us a little bit more about what you do. So um, let's talk about what is brain fitness and what is the connection between brain fitness and life as we know it? I think we, we want to kick off by saying thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to be talking to you, Tash, and to all the Jeffers. Thank you for joining us today. If you have questions, welcome to post them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer those questions for you. Um, but I think what Jeff stands for, um, and, and we talked about this yesterday as well, Tash, I think you're so professional, yet you're having so much fun in such a supportive community. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we love. Um, we're going to talk to you about OptiCards today. Um, that's a program aimed specifically at brain fitness and the way we approach it is so similar to what you guys are doing at Jeff. But brain fitness is just a holistic way of looking at a better life. Mm. And a better life, no airy-fairy stuff, a better life literally enabling me to think on my feet, have a better memory, concentrate better, making better decisions, having better opportunities in my career – and if I say career, I include schooling because we also work with school kids. We work with varsity level people. But that ability needs to improve. And if I improve it now, I've got such a better chance of having a better future and a better life. And there's so many new research papers coming out about the importance of brain fitness. Because let's face it, if I didn't feel well, and especially this time of year, ladies, don't we all go on a diet because we want to look good <laughs> when we're on the beach. So we start exercising and we start dieting. And we do all sorts of things. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's, our, yeah. it's our bread and butter. Yeah. So all the other ladies that does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. If I mm -hmm. feel that my body needs help, I get that help. And usually the type of help that we're talking about now is getting a bit more fit, losing a bit of weight, eating better. So we do things about the situation. But what we often forget is that a healthy body just has a brain and a healthy brain just has a body. But we need to connect the two because they're so integral and so much a part of everything we do every day that we are either focusing just on the one and forgetting about the other. Exactly. And our aim is to say that um, we need to create awareness about how important it is to also exercise your brain. So brain fitness literally means my ability to process information, take in that information, store it, and recall and use it later on is improved. Just like your ability to run faster or have stronger muscles mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. sit up straight or mm -hmm. whatever physical benefit you would have from physical fitness – the same type of benefit you're going to get from brain fitness and the same mm. benefits for life. Yeah, awesome. That's amazing. That's so great. And yeah, I think, um, like you said, the reason that this is such a great topic for our audience is because that's something that we highly value at Jeff. We value that so much of your fitness journey is your mindset and how your brain interacts with your everyday activities. So 
It is. It's absolutely crucial for us to make sure that we take care of our brain fitness and, and health. Um, so why is it becoming so relevant now in this season that we're in? Why is brain fitness something that we need to pay attention to? So I take it it's my turn. Um, <laughs> I, I, speak, I speak in syllables, so it's going to be short and sweet. So it, it, it's, it's very interesting. It's that the 21st century has become the, the century where we started investigating the brain. Previously, it's been a hugely expensive exercise, but with MRIs becoming cheaper and, and people could look at and investigate, um, this is when we started looking at what the, what the brain is all about and how it functions. So now we understand neuroplasticity, and neuroplasticity is about how plastic your brain is, uh, not, not meaning anything other than that, it's, that it can be reshaped. Um, mm -hmm. You could work at your brain and that is a muscle throughout life. So previously, we believed that by the age of seven, everything was set and that's what you had to live with. Um, and it's not true. So it doesn't matter at what age you are, you can always work at your brain fitness like you would work at your body fitness. And the important thing with regards to this is, is that we, we peak cognitively from the age between 16 and 25. Thereafter, there's a continuous decline, however slightly, but there's a decline. And by the time we get to 35, which is when we need to invest the most, so it's, you know, it's family, it's career, it's all of those things, mm -hmm. um, we're in a, in a steeper decline. And we stop investing in our brains because suddenly we, we focus on what our performance memory is about. So we're in a job and we know how to do that job well. Um, and we're in relationships and we know how to do those relationships well. But it's now all about what if those things change? And as we know, today, change is part of our life and change is that constant. And therefore, we need to continuously focus on how do we strengthen our capacity from a cognitive point of view just to keep up with life. Um, and I, I, like I said yesterday, is, is when you start losing your car keys and said, mm -hmm. where did I put those? That's an indication that we're in overload and that we're not mm -hmm. performing the way that we did when we were younger. Mm -hmm. So uh, the interesting thing is, is that, that that investigation has led to the fact that we can now understand that to, to work at your brain fitness has got a lot of value. We mm -hmm. all... Um, in today's life, know that we're going to be older by the time that we retire. Should we want to retire? We see more and more people that don't want to retire. Mm -hmm. We know that we have to work hard at our careers. Um, and, and we've got this thing at Opti that we talk about. We say that do people stop competing because they're growing older or do they grow older because they've stopped competing? And that's a very important question to answer because if we go for the latter, it means that we could work at your brain, your, your cognitive ability, those mm -hmm. brain skills that you need to still be competitive in the workplace and in life. And, and, and the last thing that I'd like to just highlight is the fact of, of relationships. Um, with the, the advent of COVID, um, many, many people find it more and more difficult to find new yeah. relationships in their lives mm. just a new friend and when we have a new friend it's different to what it used to be in the past we can't have two coffees a week at a coffee shop and, and mm. things are just different and all of that leads to the fact that we that we start losing some of that capacity from a cognitive yeah. point of view and not being able to build relationships yeah. and that is why right now brain fitness has become so important and this is the, the, the first time in history and life that what you now as a parent know will no mm. longer be needed by your children because it will mm. be outdated by the time that they're adults. And we have to start working in how do we change that and how do we keep mm. our brains fit to keep up with those changes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that's why it's now ever more important and it's going to become more and more important as we as we continue in this fourth industrial revolution that we're in. Mm -hmm. I, I sure. think if I can jump in there, if you look at just the critical skills that the World Economic Forum has put forward a couple of years ago, things like problem solving, um, cognitive flexibility, critical thinking, those are all cognitive skills, brain skills mm. that, mm. that we need. Mm. And no one realized that COVID would be coming along. 
and that we just, I think, speed up everything that we know how to do and that the changes we were known about or that we know is coming has just sped up. Everything mm -hmm. is different. Mm -hmm. And we knew things would change in the workplace, but we yeah. never expected things to change so quickly and so drastically. Um, and I think ex exactly. So it's just, okay. it's, it's become our everyday norm now that we need to rely on ourselves more and things are, are going to look different in the future. I, I think mm. the old norm is not going to be the new norm. Exactly. And we've, we've got this, this changed life perspective that we live with because um, you read 100% more today than what you read in 2015. Yes. That's very important to understand. Mm. This is going to double by 2025. So mm. we, we have to be able to read faster and mm. interpret better. Um, at the workplace, change is going to happen not once or twice in a, in a career, but once or twice in a year. Um, yeah. And we have to keep up with that. And, yeah. and these are cognitive complex changes. It's not easy ones. They, they're going to become very difficult. Yeah. But imagine if you a working mum, you, you have a schedule to run of your own, you have your house schedule to run, and you have to have your children's schedules to look after as well. Mm. That complexity in itself has more than doubled over the past five years and will double in the next five years. So mm -hmm. it's this continuous change that we're in that now mm -hmm. relies on more brain power. We need yeah. to be faster. We need to remember mm -hmm. more and we need to remember better than what we did mm -hmm. before. And, and maybe that leads us to that all important test that you have to do, Tash. Oh my uh, goodness. I think so, people even so so. For everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Listening and watching, uh, we've asked Nash to have a, a pen and paper handy this morning because we, we'd like to do a simple <laughs> exercise. So, so if anyone that would like to participate, you're more than welcome to participate. You need a small piece of paper and a pen. Um, and what we're going to do is show you just how complex it is in life to mm. deal with simple things. And that is why we need to focus on our brain fitness is to keep up with all of these aspects. So, Tash, yes. um, I'm going to give you a very simple word to okay. write down. But what I'm going to ask you is, when you write the word down um, mm -hmm. and you've completed that, I'd like you to number every mm -hmm. letter. So, I'm going to tell you what the word is. Don't write it down as yet. The word is okay. innovation. Okay. All right. And once you've written it down, I'm going to ask you to number the I as one, the mm -hmm. N is two, the next N is three, and just number all of them. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to the N, the last one, you just say stop. And I'm going, to, I'm going to time you and see how fast you can write innovation down and number each of the letters that you've written yeah. down. So first write the word, and then okay. you do the numbering. All right. So when you're ready, you tell me, and I'll say go. Okay. <laughs> Let me do it big. Okay. Go for Are it. Are you ready? Ready. Go. So Tash at the moment is looking at two types yeah, of memory. Yeah. Now number. Now number. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to deduct two seconds because Tash had asked does she need to number? So we'll say that you've done this in 14 seconds, Dash, which is okay. amazing. So you've actually done exceptionally well. But what <laughs> I'd like you to do now is the next phase in this exercise is I'm going to ask you to write that, exa that exact same word down, but mm -hmm. I'd like to change how you're going to do it. So I want you to write a letter and then a number. So I'd like you to turn that piece of paper around so that you can't see the word. Okay. All right. And I want you to write the same word, but I'd like you to write I, one, N, two, okay. N, three. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, and you, right, you, you say once you're, done, <laughs> once you're done, you can say stop. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Go. So Tash is now going to, between two memories, and, and she's also going to have to focus on the task that I've given her at hand, so we'll explain this now. Okay. Ah, ah, well done. Ah. <laughs> All right. 
What is I mean, my, my letter spacing is a lot different from the first time, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's absolutely... Like no difference. So I, I was going to show you the timing, but... It, it, no, oh, it's I, reset. I, um, but it took you close on two seconds more yeah. to do it the second time around, although you had already known what the word was yeah. than what you did the first time around. And the simple yeah. reason for this is, is that you have to go to two memory sets. Yeah, yeah. I can um, totally... You have to I, go I, back I to the task at hand. Between them, yeah. Yes. And yeah. and that's what happens to us in life, right? We get into overload and we, we get into these complex areas where we have to think outside of our normal comfort zone. Mm. And it takes us that much longer. And what we do as part of our brain fitness training is we, we teach the brain to unlearn and learn. Otherwise, we just stack one thing on top of the other, on top of the other. So we help the brain to differentiate between what it had known and can get rid of and what it is new and that needs to be focused on. And that's so important in what we do in, in current life. Can we maybe ask the Jeffers um, who, who's joined us, have you done this exercise as well? Maybe in the comments, just tell us what was it like, specifically yeah. the second time. We'd love yeah. to know. Yeah, let me say hi to a few people there as well. Hi, Alison and Seema. I see Mish is there. Hi, Lana. Hi, Neri and Bernice, Antoinette. There's quite a few people that have joined us. So hi, guys. And um, yeah, let us know in the comments. And then uh, while you're um, commenting over there, um, I would love if you guys have questions as well for these guys to pop it in the questions so that, or in the comments so that we can ask them. But um, if you are just joining us, we're talking about brain fitness specifically and uh, keeping our brains fit and listen. I was like panicking in that because I wanted to make sure I did right for you guys. <laughs> so I think the, the, the lesson for me personally as well as, you know, um, you were talking about mom's schedules and excuse the doorbell. You're talking about mom's schedules and about everything that um, that comes along with that as well. Um, <laughs> now the whole house is a bit of life. Um, but yeah, anyway, the, the bottom line is, is that we actually have, um, co like COVID comes up, then everything has changed again. Then ESCOM throws load shedding at you. And it's there's so many unknowns that come, that come our way that we have to think on our feet and quickly, and it's Absolutely. adds that added pressure. I'm gonna mute quickly. Um, you guys go ahead and chat for a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> so maybe chat about, can we improve brain fitness? Yes. And I think that the nice thing about the yes answer that it's an overwhelming yes. Um, we get this question a lot. So um, at a specific age, at a specific place in my career, maybe I'm um, just starting out a career. Um, maybe I'm recouping from an illness. Um, maybe I'm just super busy. Um, can I improve my brain fitness? And the answer definitely yes. And I think the yes comes with a super nice scientific word. It's called neuroplasticity. So neuroplasticity means that as long as I'm alive, my brain can improve and can change. In other words, I can work on processing better. I can work on concentrating longer. I can work on switching quickly between different tasks. I can work on my logic and reasoning skills, which is not just maths and puzzles, but also my time management and project management in my head. If I've got a project that I need to tackle, do I need to start with the bit that's going to take the longest or the easiest part? Or where do I start? Um, getting to watch us this morning, you used your logic and reasoning skills, right? Because you needed to plan. Um, when am I going to log in? What I'm going to do beforehand? Um, all of those were project plans in your head. So part of that planning comes from your logic and reasoning skills. Mm -hmm. So I often have you procrastinated, for instance. That's your cognitive skill. So it's not just you being bad at a task. That's part of your cognitive skills, part of brain fitness that can be improved. Um, but if we look at what's happened over the last two years, and I think many people have thrived because they love working from home. They love having that flexibility, but many people struggle. Mm. But brain fog is a topic that we see very often. And brain fog is not just because I've maybe had COVID and now I have brain fog. 
It could also be somebody that's recouped from or um, cancer treatment. We often see that where people talk about the mist. It's like mm. I'm here, but I'm not really here. Um, yeah. We often work with executives who just say that I can't eat properly. I can't exercise properly. I'm tired. I feel like I'm not as good as I used to be. I'm not so competitive anymore. Brain fog. Mm. Um, we work with people who want to change careers or mm. people who would simply just want a bit of a boost. If I can do things faster and easier, why not? And the nice thing is that if we look at somebody's cognitive profile, so if we look at those brain skills we use every day, so maybe we should go a step back and explain cognitive skills. Mm. So cognitive skills are those brain functions we use every day for almost everything. It's things like your short and your long-term memory, your brain's processing speed. How am I able to keep up with what I'm listening to or hearing or busy with? How can I quickly or how quickly access to information that I need to, to use and make a decision and give you an answer? It's things like my auditory processing. How does my brain process what I'm busy listening to? Visual processing, similar type of process, but just how does the brain process? Not mm. does the ear or the eye work, but how does the brain actually use that information? Mm. So those are all our cognitive skills, and we use it every single day. Mm. Driving to work and back, you heavily rely on your cognitive skills. Mm. Talking to you just now, we rely on our cognitive skills. Listening, mm. you rely on those. Mm. But they can definitely be improved. And the first thing is to determine which are my strong areas and which are my weak areas, because we all have those. Mm. Nobody is just in a box with everything that's mm. bad, everything that's good. But mm. once we know which are the areas, very similar to what you would do if you start training with Jeff, we need to find out what you need to work on and what we need to focus on to help you. We do exactly the same. So we start off with a brain skills assessment to determine which are those weaker cognitive areas that needs to be fitter to help you. But once we know that, there's so much research and clinical studies out there that shows us that, yes, it's possible to get the brain fitter. But I think that's all, to me, just pieces of paper. Pieces of paper is nice to have, but it's pieces of paper. I think what I love most is just the feedback from our clients and seeing the changes. And as and that's why I love what you're doing at Jeff is creating that community where people get excited about their new bodies and their new fitness and their new abilities. We feel yeah. the same about what we see when somebody can suddenly remember more or get that promotion because they could now perform better or a child passing school where they used to fail or whatever yeah. the situation is. That's what brain fitness is yeah. all about. So, yes, it can be improved. And the nice thing is that it's then a lifelong ability. Cognitive decline will still happen. So mm -hmm. as we age, unfortunately, mm -hmm. as our bodies get older, our brains also mm -hmm. have a bit of a decline. But mm -hmm. then those skills can be strengthened again. So it mm -hmm. just puts you in a better position every single time. Mm. Yeah, and I think, you know, um, just um, the relevance again, uh, just hitting on why it's so relevant in this season. Um, we, we had a, a Jeff Ed with a... Um, clinical psychologist and she was talking about you know how we've been in a constant state of anxiety and stress and so our higher functioning is going to be affected so our cognitive skills are the first to go so um you know when we say i feel like i aged 10 years in the last two years it's actually there is a lot of truth to that because yeah. we have we've we've had to take a lot more strain than we would in a normal year um, and that's in two years. And so as a result of that, we do need to, we do need to make a priority to actually focus on, on those basic um, skills that are quickly going to deteriorate and, and cause us to lose um, the basic, you know, functionality that we've had before. And so if we want to excel, how much more we need to work on that as well. Absolutely. If we just look at what studies tells us about the effect of stress on working memory, which is your ability to hold information, mm. then process it, and then react in the correct sequence. In other words, what I've just seen or heard or been asked, mm. I can hold in my memory, and then mm. I react to that information. Mm. Make a decision based on that or give you an answer. Mm. And just the effect that that has on us. So if you're worried about your business, or you're worried about your job, or you're worried about the kids, or the economic or political situation, and you're worried about COVID and how long it's going to take, 
unfortunately, it has an effect on the brain as well. And yeah. just taking that 10-minute walk or doing the workout is fantastic for your body, and it has super benefits for the mm. brain. But mm. then we also need to teach the brain to cope yeah. and to keep on, on coping. And yeah. I think we, we've never been in a situation like this before. We're doing our best every day, all of us. Everybody. Um, yeah. Everybody is doing their best. Everybody's got some sort of struggle that they're busy working out. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think that the nice thing is that there's research out there and there's signs out there that mm -hmm. shows us how we can benefit by looking after ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and our message is look after yourself both ways, body mm -hmm. and mind. Yeah, that's absolutely. Thing. And that's our message as well. So I love that. Um, so guys, quickly, because we've we've had such a great conversation, we've actually run out of time already. Can you believe it? So, because yeah. <laughs> we, we could go on for ages. Um, but I think one of the things that I wanted to touch on very quickly is the difference between a brain coach and a brain training game. Because obviously everybody sees the ads for the brain training games and the promises to delay Alzheimer's and all these other things. So I would love for you guys to just explain the difference between that. And okay. then, and then also, um, then you know, what what can we do? Like, what can people do to get a brain coach as well? So over absolutely. to you. I'm I'm absolutely delighted that you're asking that question because it's <laughs> it's something we get asked quite often. Mm. So every single day we bombard it in our app stores with brain training and brain games and brain mm. apps. But I think that's similar to taking the stairs. When you want to get fit yeah instead of working with a dedicated coach mm -hmm. so the results are obviously quite different mm -hmm. and the results you're going to get is those apps although it is training just trains what's already there mm. it doesn't change how the processing happens yeah the neural so pathway. if i struggled with concentration before if my mm. memory could be a bit better Mm. If auditory processing, sometimes it's like I'm in my dream world or I don't properly process what I'm busy reading or hearing, whatever the problem might be. And it doesn't need to be a problem. It's just maybe that part of the processing could do with a bit of a push. Mm. It's still going to be there. Mm. And that's the, the main difference is we work with a different type of intensity, with a different type of focus, and we do it on a scientific basis. So we start with a test that's going to show us exactly what your profile looks like because mm. based on that individual profile, we'll do individual training with you with specific focus areas, not just exercising, but actually improving how the brain processes. So in other words, the brain function, those neural pathways in the brain, that's what will be strengthened. And that's the main difference between just working on an app and quickly doing a bit of an exercise. It's not bad. It's good for you. All exercise is good for you. Mm -hmm. But there's a major difference in the type. We always say that not all training is the same. Not all brain training is the same. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. And we didn't even tell you to say that. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So OptiCards and what you guys are offering. Um, let's chat about that quickly because we do, um, we'll share it just now, but we do actually have a discount code for our GIF community if they would like to find out more or sign up with that. So tell us a little bit about what OptiCards offers and then um, let's tell them about the, the offer that you guys are giving to them. So I think as a starting point as OptiCards is the only online developed um, brain coaching program in the world. All the others that exist has been developed for face-to-face um, -face coaching. And this is the first one that has been developed as, a, as an online um, program. It is a joint venture between South Africa and Australia. Mm -hmm. um, and at the moment, it's running in, in three countries and it's only been in existence for five months. Extensive um, uh, research has been done. So the program has been developed over 12 months and a lot of research has gone into it. So we've got those stats and facts. Um, mm -hmm. And it is absolutely amazing what the achievement is in terms of these programs. I've looked at the, the different comments um, and there are different programs for for different reasons. So I'll, I'll touch on one or two. 
The first one that I'm excited about is, is the fact that we, we all know that um, when um, a pregnant mum uh, goes back to the workplace, they, they always have a concern because there's fogging. Um, and there's this brain. Brain. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy that so much, the mummy brain comment. Um, so so we, we've got a coaching program that looks after the brain while in, in the pregnancy period. Um, oh, so we, we, def, we defog the brain during pregnancy. Um, but then I've seen lots of COVID questions. Um, we at the moment in a research pro project on long-term COVID, um, we don't have the final results yet, but we already see that there's a huge impact on long COVID and, and brain mm -hmm. coaching. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got coaching for, for uh, brain injuries. Um, and like Deliana had said earlier on, where, where there's a, a, a real concern with regards to, to um, brain functioning. Mm. Um, but then we've, we've got for the first time, and this is the first time that we, that we talk about it, we've, we've generated a program that is a, a life, we call it um, OptiLife, and it's, a, it's like a gymming program. So what you do is you sign on three times a week and you, you have a 30-minute coaching session we also support you with a with a um, an online program that that facilitates some of the auditory and visual um, skills building, um, as that is easier to do, um, mm -hmm. and that is purely a maintenance program with with um, a little bit of building. So if you do this from mm -hmm. from week to week and month to month, and it looks after your brain, and this is typically for someone that is that is also looking after their their body fitness and mm -hmm. do that part of the regime. Mm -hmm. um, Opti has um, been developed for all ages, so from the age of five years old to the age of 95. Um, so there's, there's not a limit in terms of age. Um, mm -hmm. our, our oldest student that has attended is 78, um, and we had to ask him to to go away because he wanted to do a second program and the next and the next and the yeah, next. Yeah, I, th I think at program uh, number four or five, we said, come have coffee, but no more programs. You don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, oh, I've, seen, I've seen in the question or in the comments, um, chemo. Um, so, oh, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. the, the, the time think. that it takes. So chemo program... Um, would be in the region of between 90 and, and 115 hours. It's um, about a, a six, seven, eight-month program, depending on your on your profile, more or less. Mm -hmm. But but the importance with regards to this is it's all about intensity. Um, so the the coach needs to meet with the individual at least three times a week, if not five times a week. Um, but without that intensity, um, you, you lose the focus and you lose the, the commitment in terms of that, mm. that muscle growth. Um, mm. And that is important to us. Yeah, and meet mm. online. So you were dedicated with your brain coach. Um, and just like Jeff is very proud of their coaches, we're super proud of our coaches. They're professional, <laughs> but they understand life can also be joyful and, and fun. So yeah. sessions are quite intense because we've got a specific goal that we want to reach with you. And mm. we work quite intensely at getting at that goal, but we also try mm -hmm. and make sessions fun and nice. So we always say that you're going to come because you need it, but you're going to stay for the experience. Nice. And that's the goal of, of the sessions. Awesome. Awesome, guys. It's all individual coaching at the moment, but from March onwards, there would be small, small group groups. coaching. So okay, six that's good. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, I think that'll be, I can see some people banding together and doing that. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask Henny if he wouldn't mind popping up just that uh, little image that we've sent. There we go. There's the code. Um, so yeah, so guys, grab that code, uh, jeff-opti-15. Um, go check out, uh, did we put your website in the description? I don't think we did. I'll go pop your website in the description or in the comments for people. Um, go check it out and pop these guys. Any any questions that you have, um, contact them. There's a contact page on their website and uh, shoot your questions their way. I'm sure they would love to help you um, with that. I just popped it in the comments. There we go. So, um, yeah, there we go on the screen as well. <laughs> That's the OptiCards and I've popped in the BrainAbility um, 
websites as well. So check it out, guys. And uh, yeah, we we want to um, yeah we want to do our very best to support our community in every aspect of life. And this is something that um, we value highly. And I think that this is a great opportunity. So thank you to you guys for offering this discount off of the the programs and um, and the coaching. And thank you for your time as well. Very valued time and for giving us this input today. And um, yeah, guys, I see a lot of questions that have been unanswered in the comments there that we yeah. will go through. And I know you guys will go check it out as well and answer as well. So thank you so Absolutely. much. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll answer all the questions. Yes. Thank, thank you so for, much. Uh, having us, thank you for joining us. And uh, I think just Tash, keep up the good work. And for everybody hey, that's well. training, I so admire you. Um, it takes a lot of dedication. So keep at it. Don't stop. Oh. Awesome. Um, Thanks a lot of mine. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And keep up your good work as well. It's it's fascinating and, and I'm very excited about it. So thank you for joining us and thank you for everyone who dialed in. And um, thanks, Karen, for the little love there. And uh, yeah, all the very best to everybody today, guys. We got to just keep doing what we can do. And we got to cut ourselves a lot of grace and work on the control the controllables. And this is something that we can control. So, uh, yeah, make make time for your brain fitness. And um, that's everything from my side today. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.